Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing a video that I've been wanting to film for probably the last year. Um, I'm going to be clearing out and tidying up my wardrobes. The main reason for it is I feel like I'm stuck in a bit of a fashion rut. Um, a lot of the clothes in here I do wear quite often but when I do wear them the reason I'm wearing them is because they're comfy, they're reliable and they are just kind of my go-to outfits but they don't actually make me feel very good about myself when I'm wearing them and I just want to kind of mix it up and kind of get a new style for 2018 and I thought the best way to do it is just get rid of all the clothes that don't bring me joy, don't make me feel good about myself and just kind of have a clean slate and a fresh start for the new year so that's kind of what I'm going to be doing today I'm going to be throwing out all the clothes I don't wear the clothes that I do wear but don't really make me feel amazing when I do wear them and kind of tidy up my closets and my wardrobes because they are an absolute tip <laughs> let me tell you um when I do look for an outfit I tend to just go straight for the ironing pile because this is a mess my drawers in the other room which we will go through and I will show you how I'm gonna like fold everything to maximize my space in there um they are a mess and I just don't look in them because I know most of the clothes in there are clothes that I don't like wearing and yeah so basically we're gonna like get a new style for 2018 and this is where we're gonna start to do it so let's get straight into it these are the pack wardrobes from Ikea if anybody is wondering so this is my wardrobe it is not the most full wardrobe you've probably ever seen but there is a lot of stuff in here that I just don't wear at all um last year I did a lot of kind of revamping of my summer wardrobe when I went to Disney and I love a lot of the summer clothes in here but the other clothes are just yeah don't like them and also there is also a lot of clothes that I've just stuffed at the bottom here because as I said it's an absolute tip and there's no organisation behind it, it makes me very stressed when I look at it and this is why I don't like coming in here to find clothes. So, for example, this thing here is kind of like a shirt, it's like an overshirt that you put over top of top. I don't think I've worn this for a good two years so I'm just not going to even bother keeping it. Um, I am going to do a blog post on kind of finding my style and kind of getting in a rut and my kind of thoughts behind it so I will link that down below hopefully it will be up by now again this I don't think I've worn it for a good two years it's going um I won't talk you through everything but I will kind of get through it I'll talk you through what I've done once I've done it and yeah I think I might keep this wardrobe as kind of my everyday wardrobe and I've also got another wardrobe here which is my you can't quite see in it but it is at the moment it's just kind of got just a dumping ground really but I might put all my work clothes in there so I've got a good separation between weekend and weekdays so let's get tidy in <laughs> the bit that I hate about this video is the fact that I actually have to tidy up my wardrobe um, this was actually made by my mum it is a brilliant quality and I love it so I'm going to be keeping it Another thing I'm going to be doing while I'm tidying up is I'm going to be taking out all the extra hangers because I just feel like they get in the way and they clutter up the place and I'm also going to be looking at every single thing in my wardrobe, I'm going to be touching it and feeling it and pulling it out and having a look at it because I read the book The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up last year and she said that you need to touch and feel things to actually get a feeling of whether you like and love it otherwise you just kind of skim past it and just ignore it and it will stay in there forever. So let's start at the beginning, shall we? See, this is kind of one of those pieces that bugs me because it's a dress, well, a jumper dress from George at Asda, the store's annoying me, um, a George at Asda and it's kind of like a dress that it, I loved it when I first got it but since I've washed it it just doesn't wash right, it like it's constantly static and the more I'm talking about it the more it's just going because I can't do enough after my life.
looking a little bit better. It's still looking quite sparse, which is kind of the point, but there might be some things in my drawers that I need to hang up in here, because I do prefer having most of my clothes hung, because I think you can just see them a lot easier. But I am gonna show you a way of organizing your drawers so you can see everything that you've got in there. Um, but I've just kind of like organized it out. So over here, I've got all my dresses kind of organized between dressy dresses like going out for meal style dresses and then like my summer dresses here um then I have got a skirt just a random skirt that I've got in there um my play suits which I know there are some in my drawers that I need to hang up in here I've got all of my jumpers I adore this jumper this jumper is from new look it is fantastic it's so comfy it's just a really, really nice shape um, the rest of my jumpers I've got a couple of cardigans and jacket here and I've got my for fur shrug here as well so I've kind of got Cardi's jackets, jumpers, dresses, play suits and kind of all in my section so I know if I need a jumper I go over here. I've tidied this a little bit up unfortunately some of my dresses are a little bit too long for my wardrobe but there's not a lot I can do about that. My shoes are fine because I did them the other day. Now I'm going to sort out my work wardrobe and then head into the bedroom and sort out my horrendous drawers you thought this was bad my drawers are 10 times worse so welcome to my work wardrobe that's currently nowhere near a work wardrobe i've got hoodies i've got jackets i've got ponchos i've got old school t-shirts which i will explain um makeup remover which does not need to be in there um let's put that in there and a lot of random rubbish on the shelf again these drawers below here is where i keep all of my Delicate, shall we say, socks, pants, all that jazz underneath here. Um, so let's get started organising. I was really surprised that only took me like 12 minutes to do because obviously I recorded it so I knew I need to find somewhere to keep my scarves. I don't know where to put them yet. workwear is in there most of them are dresses and I've got this top so I've just put the dresses and the top kind of just separated them out and then I've cleared out this bottom part so it's all nice and tidy now okay so you've made it to my bedroom and my chest of drawers these again are Ikea drawers they are the Malum drawers so useful big and it means you can store a lot of rubbish in there so I'm going to show you a quick sneak peek inside, I don't think you'll be able to see from that shot, but basically you can tell where that there's a lot of stuff rammed in these drawers. This one won't even close properly. What I'm going to do is I'm going to empty all of them, throw it on the bed, sort through everything and put everything back neatly organised and kind of in a fashion where it makes logical sense of where things are. Because at the moment there's just stuff everywhere in those drawers. well organized everything out so now I'm gonna start putting things away this is gonna be my top straw and this is gonna be my jeans straw then I'm gonna have my stuff for like pajamas and things and then anything else is gonna go in the bottom drawer is the plan so how am I gonna fold everything up the plan is I've done a couple of things already from the ironing pile unfortunately these are all black so you can't really tell very well I have folded things up into a nice neat little parcel so these are a pair of black denim jeans and when you put them in the drawer they will just stand up if I put them at the back they will just stand up nicely like that so you can get much more out of the depth of your drawer and you can see everything all nicely stacked I will fold everything up and I will show you how it looks um, but just a quick tutorial on how to do it Basically, you create a rectangle shape and then just fold it up. So I will show you that now. 
right <laughs> can you see me right so these are the jeans that I've just shown you what you want to do is lie them out completely flat this type of folding is the folding that is mentioned in the life changing magic tidying up I will leave the name of it on screen because it is a Japanese style of folding and I can't remember what it's called so you want to start by so you want to start by laying them all out flat this they're all nice and neat and with this little bit that juts out here when you've got a pair of trousers you just fold that in a little bit so you've got kind of a like a true rectangle shape then you fold this in half like this and then depending on the thickness of the clothes you either half and half it again or you third it so I'm going to third this one because the jeans are quite thick and then the idea is that that will just stand up oops stand up on its own in your drawer and it won't fall over you save so much space because you've got the height it's so much better than rolling so I'm going to sort out my drawers to look like this now I am now finished everything is neat and tidy in my drawers I'm so happy with it I've thrown away a couple more things from my drawers not too much though but you will be so surprised at how much extra space I've got in my drawers now that everything's folded nice it's neat and tidy it's all organized so I'll quickly show you through those now okay so drawer number one it doesn't look like I've got much space um, however I have put both of my big scarves here and my woolly hats just because I had room but these are all of my tops and you can see how much neater and tidier it is folding it like this just pick out whichever top you want you can see um, what style it is and I pretty much know whichever t-shirt these are I've got all my kind of basic plain tops here and all my more graphic tees on this side Then in here are all of my jeans, my denim shorts um, and my skirts. So these are my jeans, these are the black ones that I showed you earlier. But look how much more room I've got here to put like all my Jamie jeans and everything once they're washed. Um, these are my comfy leggings, these are the best leggings ever. Um, and some of my shorts, my skirts. In here we have got my pyjama drawer which I've thinned out quite a bit but I've still got loads and loads of room so I've got all my pyjama bottoms here, pyjama tops and my more nighty style things here. And finally my gym and workout drawer. I was unable to fold up my super dry joggers the same way as these because they're just too thick. Um, but these are my workout leggings, my workout tops, and over here is old dance wear, which I don't use anymore, but I cannot bring myself to throw it out. Everything is now all neat, tidy, organized, and on it. I'm so happy with it. I'm so surprised at how little time it took me as well. It took me about an hour to do all of it, and I really expected it to take me all afternoon, but it didn't. Um, so it just goes to show, if you just put your mind to it, you will get it done. Um, I'm so happy with how much space I've got in my drawers now. Everything's organized. I can see all my tops, I can see all my t-shirts. Same with my wardrobe, everything's in sections. It's really clear to find some clothes, which is, we all have the struggle on a morning of I've got nothing to wear. And normally it's because we can't see the wood for the trees because we've got so much stuff. Um, don't forget to check out my blog post, which I'm about to go on right now because I feel so inspired um, with all the fashion and everything like that. It's gonna be kind of along the lines of how you lost your way in fashion and how to re find your love for fashion um, I hope you've really enjoyed this video this video is a lot different to anything I normally film and not a lot different style that I normally film in it's kind of well out of my comfort zone I normally like sitting in a seat and talking to the camera instead of kind of trying different shots and things so I will love you and leave you and I will see you all very soon don't forget to like subscribe and comment down below if you've liked this video this style of video if you prefer fashion videos all that kind of thing I really would like to hear you your input in the type of videos that you'd like to see on my channel um, don't forget to stick around for all the Disney vlogs that are coming up on Friday and also just quickly before I go this t-shirt I will link down below I've had so many questions on it on my Instagram um, I will link it down below it is selling out fast so definitely check it out if you really really want it anyway don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all very soon thank you so much for watching bye I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna.
gonna skip my breaks. I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out. So.